Okay, hey everybody. Um, I hope you're having a good night. I have a book that I wanna read with you right now. It is called Edwina the Dinosaur Who Didn't Know She Was Extinct. Um, the words and pictures, so the author and the illustrator are both Mo Willems. And if you hear that name when your brain goes ding, 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 that's because we have read other Mo Willems books before. Um, the Elephant and Piggy series, the uh, Mm, the Pigeon series, the Nuffle Bunny series, and Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Those are all Mo Willems books, so I know you friends will like this one. Uh, this book is all about a dinosaur, and her name is Edwina, and a little boy who doesn't like her very much. So we're going to find out why and what ends up happening at the end with these two characters. All right. Edwina the Dinosaur Who Didn't Know She Was Extinct. Everyone in town knew Edwina. She was the dinosaur who played with the neighborhood kids. She was the dinosaur who did favors for anyone who asked. Edwina helped little old ladies cross the street. And she baked chocolate chip cookies for everyone. Everybody loved Edwina, except Reginald Vaughn, Hoobie Doobie. Well, Reginald knew just about everything about just about everything. He liked to give reports in class about all the things he knew. Today, he was going to talk about things that are extinct. Specifically, I wonder if you guys can guess what it is. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, totally extinct. A report by Reginald Vaughn, Hoobie Dooby. But as soon as Reginald started, Beth McFeeder asked, what about Edwina? She's a dinosaur. Then Tommy Bridger said, yeah, Edwina can't be extinct. She bakes chocolate chip cookies for us. And then Miss Mink added, well, maybe Edwina is baking chocolate chip cookies right now. Does he look happy? Hmm. Before he knew it, everyone except Reginald was outside eating cookies. No one listens to me with that dinosaur around, thought Reginald. Well, tomorrow I'll prove to the whole town that dinosaurs really are extinct. And poof, Edwina will disappear. You friends think that will work? Hmm. The next morning, Reginald handed out flyers that made excellent arguments about how extinct dinosaurs are. And they also made excellent hats. When flyers didn't work, Reginald tried protesting. He wanted to tell everybody, this is not happening. But when protesting didn't work, he tried everything he could think of. but no one listened. Well, finally, Reginald broke down and cried. Boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, he sobbed. Why won't anyone listen to me? Hmm, I'll listen to you, said a voice from behind him. I bet if you're using those thinking brains, you know who was saying that to him. Let's see if you're right. It's Edwina. Well, Reginald took Edwina to his classroom him to his classroom. Hmm. Inside, Edwina listened as Reginald told the truth about dinosaurs. He was persuasive. He was expressive. He was loud. And he was very convincing. So that means he even had Edwina thinking that she wasn't a dinosaur or that they were extinct. Edwina was Shocked. What would your face look like if you were Edwina right now? <clears throat> she was shocked. When he was done, Reginald felt fantastic. No one had ever listened to him so well for so long. Everything Reginald had said made sense. There was no doubt about it in Edwina's mind. She knew she was extinct. But guess what? 
she just didn't care. You see that hole in the side of the building? <laughs> she just didn't care. She went running off with a smile on her face. <laughs> and by then, I'm noticing something with his face too. I see a frown. And it's not, it's kind of not a frown anymore. It's more like a hmm kind of face. So she didn't care. And by then, neither did Reginald Vaughn who be Dooby. <laughs> the end. And look at what she's doing with him in the kitchen. She is making some chocolate chip cookies for him. So to me, this is a book that's really all about friendship and acceptance. Um, and I'm kind of interesting about I'm interested in what you friends think about the ending. Why do you think it was that Reginald Von Hooby Dooby decided that he didn't care if she was extinct or not? Why do you think he made that decision that he didn't care anymore? Um, why don't you talk with your mom and dad and see what they think, and then maybe you can let me know. I hope you all have a wonderful night, and I hope you like this book. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.